Hi, Deirdre McNamara here from Letterkenny IT. I'm just going to do a short video on how to manage your uh, sources uh, in referencing um, uh, in Microsoft Word 2010. So I have a document here with a number of sources already uh, in it. And while I'm finished with this document, I think some of those sources would be very useful for my next project. And I'd like to not have to type them out again and be able to use the ones I've already typed in here. So if I click on Manage Sources, you can see that this document has a number of sources already in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select them all here, like that, and then this bot button here becomes uh, active. So I'm going to copy them onto the master. So this is my current document on the right hand side, and this is the master document uh, which is available for every new document on this particular PC. Now, within the college, we wipe these regularly, so don't rely on that uh, to work for you. But for the moment, um, I'm going to just leave them there, okay? Now, if you ever want to find out where your sources are saved, if you click on the Browse button, up here it'll direct you to wherever they're saved. Now, I've chosen a different location here, but by default, uh, the default location is normally listed up here. So I'm just going to cancel out of there for the moment. So I'm going to hit Close, and I'm going to go File, and new and create and go references manage sources and you'll see that there are a number of sources already in here and uh, that's because we copy them across and i'm going to i'm holding down shift i click on the first one holding down shift click on the last one and now this button here is available this will bring them over to this document so i copy them across and click on close so now as I'm working through my document, for example, I say IT is essential and I want to put in my reference, I can go insert citation, all of these people are listed in here. So for example, I'm sure Neheim has said that, obviously I'd have to look up at the source, but I can click on Neheim and it goes in, in there. Now all of the ones that are listed on the uh, right hand side will appear in your bibliography. So if you don't want them to appear in the bibliography, then you need to get rid of them out of the right hand side of the list over here. So when I go and finish my document and click on bibliography and insert bibliography, you can see the full list of items that were on the right hand side of that screen uh, are available to you. Okay, that's the end of this video.